Hi Aquarius and welcome. Uh, this is going to be a small intro before I start the reading. Uh, all the information is going to be on this intro so please do not skip it because I will not repeat it uh, during the reading and it's very important that you do listen. So uh, Aquarius I want to thank all of you for all your love and support that you have been giving me on my channel. I'm very grateful and humbled by this beautiful experience and this beautiful uh, messages that, uh, and all the kind words and the love that you share with me. For those of you that have been with me from the very beginning or, or halfway here or halfway came through or recent or new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community now for 25 years and I channel messages from a higher self and a divine. And I use the cards as a tool on YouTube to deliver the messages. Um, so I do want to also thank everybody out there, uh, you know, in this uh, pandemic virus that we're having that's taking place in our world. Uh, I do want to thank everybody that's out there, um, you know, risking their lives to be out there to keep us safe. So I do want to start by saying thank you for the people that work in the ambulance, the firefighters, the police officers. Uh, thank all the caregivers, the nurses, the doctors, the secretaries that work in the hospitals. Or um, I also want to thank people that work at the, uh, you know, the pharmacies, the people that work at the grocery store, the small convenience stores. Also, the people that work at the gas stations, the people that, uh, you know, the truck drivers, the people that work uh, as Uber to deliver food and uh, and uh, and also to people that work in their offices or people that are still working out there. I want to thank everybody that's uh, really doing their work to keep us safe and sound. And uh, we, are, we are all in this together. And uh, even though something like this had to take place, uh, I feel that everybody around the world is... Uh, more compassion and kind to each other there's a there's a beautiful uh, sense of community that's taking place and i see that there's a lot of beautiful things that are taking place whether we're going through this situation and there will be a rainbow at the end and that is very very prominent for everybody on the collective so we're all in this together and uh know that i uh, have your back and i always will love you my beautiful aquarians so now uh also what i do want to mention underneath the video is that underneath the video uh, for those of you that want to buy crystals under my name, all you have to do is go to the under my video and click on it and it will bring you to the website. And let's say you do want a crystal, but you don't see it on the website. All you have to do is email them and they will provide it for you. For those of you that want to join me on Patreon or already joined me on Patreon, thank you for joining. Uh, I am new to this as much as you are. And we will get through this together. I will start in the month of May. Uh, and it's great because we can message each other one on one. Uh, on uh, Patreon and I will come up with uh, beautiful videos for you. Whatever it is that you are looking for, I will try to provide for you. So there is a link there. And for those of you that want to follow me on Facebook for inspiration, it's Patricia Luna. For those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patricia underscore 1111. I do free mini readings there. I do come on once in a while and give free readings. And for those of you that are always saying, well, you know, Patricia, where do you get your cards? What do you use? So all the cards, the, everything that I have here, okay, that I show you, um, there will be a link there underneath the video on Amazon that you could go on my storefront and you could see um, I put things in category for you and you could buy. And also, it's also a sense of support for me on my end because I did lose my primary job as, because of the virus, uh, uh, you know, and uh, at this moment, my employer uh, had to shut down his, their, their doors, okay? Uh, so, and... Um, for those of you that want to email me, uh, there's an email there. Uh, I do provide uh, two beautiful healers that could heal, uh, especially that, you know, uh, sometimes we could do so much in healing ourselves and taking care of ourselves. But sometimes we need that extra touch and or to go an extra way, especially if you feel that you're stuck uh, in a situation that you've been working on for a very long time. I will give you their information. Plus, I also have a dowser as well. Okay, so everything will be underneath the video. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And of course, comment. And thank you for all the love and support. And let's get started with your reading, okay? Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Hi, Aquarius. So this is your reading. How will your reading will be? This is from April 25th to April 30th, 2020. So I will start with the singing bowl. And after that, uh, I'm going to uh, give you uh, your affirmation and uh, some oracle cards to start the reading. Then I will channel you some messages while I'm uh, shuffling the cards. And I will do you a Celtic cross of where you are, where you are right now, okay? How you're feeling right now, uh, what you need to focus on, what is coming towards you, what you need to know, and your possible future. 
And then after that, I'm going to do, I'm going to clarify the cards. And after I clarify the cards, I will give you your animal spirit card, your crystal of the week, and what the quantum oracle card wants to tell you. Okay, so let's get started. I have the singing bow here. And the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space. And I will do the same thing for you. All you need to do is take a deep breath in and exhale to Mother Gaia. Um, but I'm also going to put my hand over my heart chakra. And if those want to follow and close your eyes and send love, protection and peace to the collective. Perfect. So this is Smudge Spring. So I will smudge, of course, Archangel Michael here, Archangel Raphael that you don't see, Archangel Riel, my angels, my crystal, my sacred space, some for you and some for me. Those of you that want to buy this, I have it on my Amazon. If not, you can get it on itsy.com. You can get it on Instagram or anywhere on the website. So now let's start with your affirmation of the week. Your affirmation is Relationships Aquarius. And it's, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Again, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. This is your affirmation of the week. What the angels want to tell you is manifestation power. And it says, use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. And you got two cards here. From the romance angels you get you, first one it says stay optimistic stay optimistic about your love life and it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and you got chemistry Th there's a strong magnetic attraction here and also what you got is someone is not being honest or is withholding information some type of deception is around you someone is not being honest or is withholding information keep that in mind Okay, now uh, this reading is for this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. And anytime you see this is the right time. So I do have some channel messages to give you before we start the reading. I do feel that there's someone watching you on the internet or just like watching you posting and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they, they probably don't talk to you, but they're looking at you from afar. I feel that you are... Uh, some of you Aquarius, there's some type of to toxicity or you're bonded to something or some type of patterns that are keeping you blocked. And I do see that there's like some type of mask that's falling, maybe your mask or someone that around you, that belief system or someone, someone is wearing a mask around you. Okay. Um, I do feel that there's some type of apology that's coming towards you. Or you have to apologize to someone, Aquarius, or someone is coming to apologize to you, where there will be forgiveness. And I do see in the end that there is going to be your wishes are going to be fulfilled, whatever it is that you desire. Okay, so now uh, I think cards are ready. I'm going to cut them in three. And let's get started with your reading. This is for Aquarius.
overall energy, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you are working on a detail on something, maybe yourself, a project, <coughs> working late hours, and you're trying so many different ways of doing something, but it's not resulting in what you want, Aquarius. There's also a sense of like frustration and giving up here. Where you are right now, you are at the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so you are all over the place, I feel, for some of you here. You're multitasking. Uh, you're, there's, you're doing too many things at the same time, Aquarius. And there's a need to ground yourself. I also feel that you're being pulled in two different directions. And I do feel that there's two different energies here. What is the challenge here is the Five of Swords energy. This could be you, uh, you know, patterns. Uh, and this is not just you, but all the collective is going through this at some time or another where thought patterns uh, that take place, you know, thinking negative, thought pa negative thought pattern, it could take place patterns that you keep repeating in your, in your, like, in your mind. This could also mean that there's someone around you that is deceptive. There's someone that is gonna, this could be a cheater, someone that's deceptive or someone that is not for your eyes good and it will take any time to hurt you, they will hurt you, okay? There's that sense of energy here. What they want you to focus on is the King of Cups reverse, maybe a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. This could be you in energy or uh, the person that you're dealing with where I feel that they're not emotionally available at this time, okay? Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done with this individual. They need to fill up their own cup of love uh, before they could even offer love here, okay? Some type of unstable in emotions as well. In the past to now, you got the Star card, which is your card, Aquarius, uh, you know, wishing upon... There's a healing and a blessing that will be taking place for you this year, okay, with the star card. Wishing upon something and making your dreams come true. What is above you is the page of pentacles. And the page of pentacles talks about, a page is always about a start of, this could be an apology coming towards you, or you have to apologize, or someone is coming to apologize, or there's a start of some type of uh, st stableness, okay? This could be work, a, a job, some type of promotion, or something that's coming in for you. What's coming towards you it could be celebration, yes, but I also feel that there's a third party situation here for some of you, or you're dealing with someone that has a like there's another energy here. In the seventh position, you've got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Uh, maybe you're being pulled into different jobs. Maybe one of the jobs that you have, you, the people that you work with are not nice people. I don't know what it is, but this talks about success. This talks about um, being successful, it talks about being. Um, material satisfaction someone reliable and someone that has that is grounded and worked hard for where they where they got what you need to know is the lover's card this is a gemini this could be a twin flame energy that's here for you it could be a lover whatever it is there's someone here if you're single and you say well i have nobody but someone that's very significant or this is someone that's going to be coming towards you this could be a gemini energy or it, this person could show up sometime in the month of uh, may or june of 2020 as well and some type of decision has to be rendered here in the hopes and dreams, you got the sun card, which is a positive card. This talks about success, all the positive vibes, the universe agreeing on your path and bringing you forward. And whatever it's going to come for you is going to be something that you would never believe, okay, that, that could happen to you. This could be also a soulmate energy here. And the last card you got is the page of uh, cups. So you got the page of cups and the, uh, the page of pentacles, the beginning of some type of emotion here. This, if it, this is your, These are your children. They're doing great. If not, this talks about like some type of a business that's coming in or it's a friendship that's starting, okay, with emotions and some type of stability. So now let's look into the cards and see what else is going on here for you. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Aquarius? We've got the Knight of, Knight of Cups reversed, like the King of Cups reversed. The High Priestess reversed. Why is the High Priestess reversed? The Knight of Cups reversed. And the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay. Maybe you're being pulled into different directions uh, or to different energies here or multitasking. Whatever it is, there's a King of Cups energy, a Knight of Cups with a King of Cups reversed that talks about someone that is not emotionally available 
for you, okay? They have to fill in their own cup. Or maybe this is you, Aquarius, that you don't have this within yourself, okay? You're feeling drained. There is some type of secret that's going to come out or already came out for you. And uh, here it also shows me that your intuition will be off. The Ten of Swords reversed, this is something of the past, okay? It's not that the Ten of Swords is attached to you. Usually, this is something that already took place a long time ago. So it will be a sense of relief. Let's look at this Five of Swords energy that's crossing you or challenging you at this time. Maybe it's your thoughts. You are, you are going to be liberated from it, but there's a lot of work that has to be done, especially with your energy and raising your energy. So let's look at the Five of Swords energy here. Why is the Five of Swords here? You've got the Queen of Cups. So right now I've got the King and Queen of Cups. You've got the Devil card. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, I feel some of you are blocking... There's an energy that's blocking you, Aquarius, or someone's blocking you, or you're blocking yourself, or some, or you're blocking yourself. Even though you see the signs coming in, and there's enlightened there, because there's a lot of frustrations. Okay, you're carrying a lot on your shoulders. You're carrying a lot on you within you as well. Okay, this could be, or you're blocking a situation, or someone's blocking you, and a lot of negative thinking and thoughts and uh, backstabbing here. Uh, maybe you're dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces energy. This is a lady, a woman. Okay, this is you. You are in this unconditional love. You are pure. You are light. You are giving. You are nurturing energy here. And with the Devil card, uh, it can mean many things. But what I feel here for some of you is that there's a lot of toxicity or unhealthy relationships around you. Um, I feel that there's a lot of fears, temptations, um, um addictions there's something here that's pulling you down or something or someone that you're bonded to now let's look at this king of cups reversed this is what they want you to focus on you've got the five of cups reversed which is a good card for some of you depending five of cups reversed with the king of cups reverse what else is there oops the magician reversed why is the king of cups reversed the five of cups reversed and the magician reversed okay scorpio okay so maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio energy. If not, there's some type of resistance here with you or in an individual. Uh, with the King of Cups and the Five of Cups reversed, meaning that the Five of Cups reversed is that you're going to overcome this uh, this healing that has to be taking place. And it also talks about some type of reunion or uh, someone coming back to apologize for some type of forgiveness. But there is someone going to reach out to you from your past here. And uh, whatever the energy here with the mag magician re uh, reverse is, ta is talking about that the reason why you're not manifesting what you want, you're manifesting your, your negative thoughts. So if you're thinking negative all the time of a situation, you, this is what you're going to be manifesting. And others of you, you're dealing with someone that's a manipulator or you, <clears throat> you could be manipulating someone too, okay, with their thoughts. But there's some type of resistance that's taking place here. I'm going to ask for one more card for this, okay? The overall energy for the King of Cups, the reverse, the Five of Cups reversed, reversed <clears throat> the Death card reversed, and the Magician. Why is this all reversed, and what is the end conclusion? Yeah, whatever situation, okay, that did not take place with two people coming in together, this is what they want you to focus on, okay? There was some type of manipulation here, someone that was not emotionally available whatsoever. They were not there for emotions, okay? And uh, But I do see some type of reconcile reconcile what's taking place now let's look at the star card the past till now you've got the four of wands reversed so unhappiness in a home not some type of proposal that did not come through some kind of delay four of wands reversed with the star card the page of wands and the two of swords.
So the two of swords reversed with the four of swords. Uh, four, the two of swords reversed with the four of wands reversed. Talks about instability and not happiness in the home. Okay, the two. Uh, if you were at crossroads, you made some type of decision in the past. Okay, where you did get a healing and a blessing that came in from the divine. And something started with the Page of Wands energy where there was a start of some type of passion here. Now let's look at the Page of Pentacles. Because right now I've got the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. If these are your children, they are in the right element. Okay. And if not, this has to do with a friendship or some type of lover. What is the Page of Pentacles here all about? You've got the Fool card. You got justice. And you got the world card. Beautiful. So whatever this page of pentacles <clears throat> is for you, okay? You are being divinely guided for these new beginnings. It's a 50-50 chance, like it's 50-50. You are being divinely guided, but are you gonna take that chance? It's up to you. Uh, maybe you're dealing with Libra. If not, as rulings will be made in your favor. If this has to do with uh, anything else, maybe uh, selling a house or if this has to do with a, a divorce or there's something that you're thinking about. I don't know because I'm picking up divorce here for some of you. Not that you are divorced, but you're thinking about that. Uh, but it could also mean uh, that, you know, uh, whoever that's involved around you, that everybody's going to be treated fairly and rulings made in your favor and things will be in balance. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra energy or something in October of 2020, but there's a completion that's going to take place in your life. Coming full circle from experiences and really beginning anew. Now let's look at this Three of Cups energy, what is coming towards you. This could be also celebration, yes. It all could also be celebration, but it could also be a third energy here, okay? Why is the Three of Cups here? You've got the Empress. Why is the Empress here with the Three of Cups? Why is the Empress here? Okay, Queen, Seven of Wands. Okay, Three of Cups energy could be celebration or a third party situation here. With the Empress, is this could be you, my beautiful Aquarius, uh, especially the goddesses out there, okay, that uh, whatever you touch turns to gold. Uh, this is like having great ideas, whatever you touch, again, anything you work on, will, there's going to be a beautiful fruition, abundance new opportunities that talk about stability here this could be a mother figure as well for others of you could also be pregnancy out there you know and uh you will with the seven of wands energy you will rise above the situation you are working on yourself there's a lot of completions taking part in your life but i feel that you're not going outside the box okay or there's some type of um maybe you're dealing with someone that's very different from you um some type of organization could be also uh, some type of marriage here that is unstable at this time. But you will rise above the situation. Now let's look at this King of Pentacles here. You've got Judgment card. You got the hangman and you got the queen of wands reversed. Okay, so some, there's some type of sacrifice, sacrifice that you're going through. Okay, you're in the cocoon stage, you're enlightened, you're in the loop of a situation. Okay, something needs to be dropped, something needs to be like go up, like you're holding on, clinging on. This is like hanging on, clinging on to the, some type of comfort here. But there is a you're in a cocoon stage before you turn into a butterfly here. And, uh, there is something that's coming destined towards you, okay? And a judgment will be done or by you or someone else here. And again, I mentioned the King of Pentacles, someone that is steadied, someone that is uh, successful. And with the Queen of Wands reverse, it just talks about someone has been humbled here. If there was some type of let go of or something happened in the past that a secret came out and someone cut you out, Aquarius, 
I feel that this is your energy that they humbled themselves. It could, or it could be like vice versa. Okay. Now let's look at this lover's card. You got the five of wands, the ten of cups reversed. And the Ace of Swords. Wherever this lover card, whether it's a twin flame, a soulmate, a friend, a someone, a lover, whatever it is for you, there's been a lot of drama. This is what you need to know. There's been a lot of drama around them, around you. A lot of fighting, drama, gossip. And with the Ten of Cups reverse, it just says that this is something that is not taking place in the way that you want with the Ten of Cups. A lot of emotions here. A relationship that did not take off in the right start. But with the Ace of Swords energy, the Divine is going to come in to give you clarity on the situation, on the things that you wanted to know. You're going to get clarity from the Divine. Um, this is also through meditation and sleep where you're going to get like, you know, like uh, clear messages this is cutting through people or situations that are not for your highest good. And a lot of talking. Your throat chakra. I keep feeling your throat chakra. Okay. Um, here. And let's look at the sun cards. You got the eight of cups reversed. The strength reversed. Sorry about that. And, this, and the nine of pentacles. So um, you're very independent, Aquarius, you take care of yourself, okay? Some of you are going for the 10th of Pentacles, so you're at the 9th, it's really good. With the Sun card, it's a very positive card, this. Uh, whatever you walked away from, okay, you overcame, you overcame it, okay? With the Eight of Cups, it shows that you walked away. Maybe someone walked away from you or that you walked away from them. Whatever the situation is, that you overcame this. And with the Strength card reverse, talks about not having enough like self it's like self-worth not having enough self-esteem um belief you know or uh, going out there you know maybe some of you are not feeling good right now as well um with all the energies that are coming in uh it's just a, a need to take care and uh maybe you're dealing with a leo energy here but whatever it is it's um that you what i feel is is that you're just unstable at this time with the sun card here it things will change uh, most definitely okay now let's look at the page of cups energy why is the page of cups here you got the four of swords energy so there is some type of break or break up here that's going to take place within an individual that there was already completion for it okay maybe uh aquarius this maybe could be you if you're a man you're probably going to go uh, ask uh, for, uh, you're going to apologize for something. Because I feel that a man here is going to apologize to someone is what I'm picking up very strong. Okay. Uh, the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So there maybe there, there will be a break. Okay. Some type of break up or a break that's going to take place here where you're not going to be speaking to an individual here. Especially as I, I see two type of energies or three here. Okay, uh, this was a some someone that was there was emotion, there was some passion here, and there was some type of stability, but it was just at the beginning of whatever it was. Okay, for you, this is stability. This could be in a workplace, in a home, or like again in this relationship or in this friendship. This talks about cooperation. This talks about this talks about like the three of pentacles is stability. Okay, so there will be some type of stability. And whoever that's coming towards you will take their time. They gotta be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. They don't have to be, but this is someone that has your back. And they are watching you from afar and they're coming towards you, but they're taking their time. They have to strategize. When they come in, they also bring blessings or it could be also work for some of you. So let's look at the Eight of Pentacles here, the overall energy. What is the Eight of Pentacles about? So I got the Emperor here. I got the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Swords reversed. Okay. So um, whatever this has to do with work, okay, that you're trying to give up or you're frustrated, whatever it is, it's like uh, what I feel here, maybe if you're maybe you're dealing with an Aries energy, this is having everything under control, setting up new rules and boundaries, maybe at work or with a situation, because I do have the Empress and the Emperor 
Okay, I got the king and queen of pentacles. Uh, maybe some type of un unstableness right now when it comes to business for some of you. Okay, you're feeling unstable here. Maybe you own your own business right now because what's taking place, like you're feeling unstable. Um, or you're dealing with someone that's unstable. And this knight of swords energy with the two of wands. If you are an Aquarius woman and you're waiting for someone to come through right now to talk to you that you've been missing or something like that the person is not coming in at this time there is a delay okay so they're not coming in because uh i feel there's some type of block that's taking place the two of sword two of wands reversed talks about someone not coming in sharing the same gift and this whatever message that had to come in for you is not coming in i'm going to ask for one more card on that why is the two of wands and the knight of swords reversed here and what is the outcome for this are they going to come back or well, I see that maybe they will come back, not now, but I do see maybe that in the month of June of 2020, they might they might resurface, okay? Uh, and this is a, taking, maybe you are going to take control of a situation and move forward, or there's someone that's going to take care, that's going to, or the person you're dealing with is going to take control of the, the situation and moving forward. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancerian energy here. This is like an ending or a cycle of an ending of, and a cycle ending of everything that was difficult and and uh, going forward with positivity, with ambition, with willpower. And underneath the deck, I got the Seven of Cups energy. So there is some type of confusion here for some of you, okay? And for others of you, they're asking you to dream big, okay? It's okay to dream big because the universe is huge and it has the abundance there for everybody. But remember to stay grounded as well, okay? You could dream big. But focus on at least one or two things at the same time. You could like do a, a dream board or a vision board, you know, uh, and just do a board and put all the beautiful things that you would want and focus on those things every day. So now let's look at your animal spirit of the week, what it is for you. Put my reading glasses on. Cheers. Okay. You got... Tarantula. And this is at crossroads, cl claiming life's purpose. The tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or dharma. A habit or routine from the past is si sidetracking you from your dream. Yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula overs patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul it already knows you'll choose wisely and once when, when it's in balance it follows intuition when it's out of balance it hesitates and to bring into balance is daily journaling so maybe some of you have to start some type of journaling here okay so that is your animal totem what is your crystal of the week you have lap, lapis lapsuli in this past life and it's the third eye and crown but i also see this as a uh, used for the throat chakra and that's what i felt for you so wear a lot of blues if you don't have this type of crystal or you could get the crystal and the crystal meaning of this card is powerful spiritual in initiation stone awakening spiritual wisdom and knowledge opens you to clairvoyance supports past life awareness and healing of any karmic patterns enhances psychic gifts and awareness and severes karmic ties Lapis Lamzuli has arrived in your life today to share that you are currently undergoing healing connected to your past life experiences. Your current situation is reflecting thoughts, feelings, and memories that stem from a past life. Our soul has experienced several lives, lives here on earth and can bring issues that have not yet been pre previously dealt with back into the current life. This is known as karma and it will affect you your current life until you clear and heal the pattern. There are times when the depths of your experiences, emotions, and responses go beyond this lifetime, and you can feel as if you are living them all over again. If your current situation is one of soul connection, friendship, pain, fear, phobias, unexplained injury, or mixed or, and misunderstood emotions and feelings, know this stems from a past life experience. This is a perfect time to heal and clear these old wounds and experiences from your field. If you feel entangled or stuck in a karmic relationship or situation, be comforted by the fact that the divas have a right to assist you in bringing insight, awareness, and healing. This card can also suggest that you are connecting to and bringing through past life gifts and wisdom. Make sure to honor and nurture 
this new knowledge because it will bring about massive healing, enriching your world by bringing welcome, positive change and a new inspiration. Allow this wisdom of the past to flow through into your current life and let it be your guide. Beautiful. So now let's see what the quantum uh, oracle card wants to tell you. You got number seven, spirit and ascendant masters. This is Jesus, Buddha, Hilarion, and Saint German. The spirit world is filled with dynamic entities who long to assist you in all areas of your life. Some of these are ascended masters, those who have lived on earth plane before and now work from the energies, energetic realm. This card is telling you to look at your life and open up to the master that most resonates with the solution you are seeking at this time. In the upright position, this card is bringing you the presence of a high masters of enlightenment, including Jesus, Buddha, and others of profound spiritual influence in the world. Jesus, represented by the dove, comes with unlimited healing power. No matter what your religious persuasion may be, he can bring you miracle assistance with physical, mental, or emotional healing. As the master of love, he can open your heart to experiencing the unconditional love you deserve to have for yourself, and he can bring a more loving attitude to your life and your world, as well as greater compassion to and for the people around you. There are several historic figures called the Buddha, including Guatama and Shakyamuni, represented here by the lotus, which is beauty growing out of the mud. The Buddha brings you to greater consciousness and enlightenment. Look to him for assistance in meditation and spiritual understanding and for achieving inner peace in difficult times. He is also the master of detachment. So if you're dealing with addiction or obsession of any kind, even obsession or desperation concerning your goals, his would be the guidance you seek. There are just two of the ascendant masters. There are just two of the ascendant masters this card brings, open to all who can bring the spiritual wisdom that could change your life. And your affirmation is, if you want to repeat this, I invite the guidance and energy and name the ascendant masters that you uh, want. And I gratefully request assistance and with and then write or, or name the issue here. So uh, I invite the guidance and energy of the ascendant masters and I gratefully request assistance with your issue. And so it is. Oops. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Aquarians. I just saw 3303. So that is another confirmation. Uh, don't forget to like, share and comment. Uh, know that I have your back and I love you and I'll see you next week and please stay safe. Bye.